Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about expressions in Java. In our previous classes, we already discussed about different operators in Java. Please watch that class and come back here. We are going to use those operators in our expressions. Coming to today's class, expressions in Java. Let's take an example and understand int a is equal to 9, b is equal to 5, c is equal to 2 and d. These are the four variables which we considered here. And if you write an expression like this, d equal to a minus b minus c, it's an expression. We call it as an expression. So what's, what's happened here? a is equal to 9, b is equal to 5, c is equal to 2. If you write this expression, 9 minus 5 minus 2. So this operation has to be done. And the value which we are going to get after evaluating this expression will be assigned to the variable d. That is what happens if you write this expression. Sir. We can use any of the operator which we, are, we have already discussed in our previous classes. For simplicity purpose, for better understanding, we have taken simple operators like arithmetic operators and multiplication and division operators. So let's take one more expression d is equal to a plus b multiplied by c. d is equal to a by b by c. These expressions has to be evaluated. One important point you have to understand here. During the evaluation, what happens? How it is going to be evaluated? This is the point you need to understand. This is what we are going to focus in this class. See, 9 minus 5 minus 2. Suppose if you evaluated like this. First, b minus c means 5 minus 2. What is the value? 3 value. Then, 9 minus 3 which is going to be 6 6 is going to be stored in d so this is one way to evaluate this expression similarly if you evaluate in other way 9 minus 5 this is to be done first 9 minus 5 means 4 4 minus 2 2 so 2 is going to be assigned to d if you evaluate this expression in two different ways you got two different answers Yes, that's why how it is going to be evaluated. What are the conditions it is going to follow? That is what you need to understand. So during the evaluation, we need to follow some conditions. Otherwise, different evaluations are going to get different outputs. So all the expressions should follow some set of rules and conditions. What's those conditions we are going to discuss in our next class? The point you have to understand. This is the point you have to understand. Let's take one more example. D is equal to A plus B multiplied by C. 9 plus 5 multiplied by 2. If multiplication has been done first. 5 multiplied by 2 which is 10. 10 plus 9. 9 plus 10. 19. If 9 plus 5 has been done first, 9 plus 5 means 14. 14 multiplied by 2, 28. So different evaluations, different outputs you got. Similarly, A by B by C, 9 by 5 by 2. If 5 by 2 has done first and it is assigned to 9, you are going to get different answer. If 9 by 5 has been done first, then the output is going to be assigned to C, then it is going to be a different answer. So for, during the evaluation, the point you have to understand during the evaluation, for every evaluating expressions, we need a set of rules. What's those rules? The rules are given using precedence and associativity. So what's those conditions? What is precedence? What is associativity? So how it is going to be, how these concepts are used in evaluating the expression these points we are going to discuss in our next class so hope you understand this class if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you